What's good with it, people? Welcome to the Joe Blackula Perspective presents Behind the Curtain, where today I will be reviewing the movie Zack Snyder's Justice League, the recut with, okay, I gotta give my man some proper introduction here. So most of the people that I know that that's gonna give me some type of conflict with stuff, I don't even talk to him, truth be told. Like my bro's brother right here, his older brother, Ronald. I love Ronald to death. If I say up, oh, Ronald gotta figure out some kind of way to argue with him. <laughs> down. I'm like, okay, bro, you got it. I have known my brother since I will clock it at 1988, 89. And I don't think we have ever argued about anything as far as movies are concerned or music. Reggie, thank you for being a part of this. This is the launch of what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but you are the perfect person to be on my launch, man. I appreciate you. Thanks for being here with me, bro. Hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm glad you figured out a way to bring me in. And dude, we, we have these discussions. Let's share it with everybody. So thank you. <laughs> What did you think about it? I don't think you go into a four hour movie, you be like, all right, man, I, I hope this is gonna be good. Man, I couldn't wait to watch it again. And Zack Snyder, he redid everything and did it his way. I don't know if he feels this way, but to me, I feel like he gave us his magnum opus. I didn't think he was gonna put together this movie and it not be good. It was way better than I could have even imagined that, yeah. you know? Do you think that they're through? Do you think that they're gonna let him you know, continue with it. I just read something today where the studio said like, no, that's it. I read something the other day where Zach, he was saying he don't know if he gonna do anything else with that, you know. Uh, but man, after giving us this, I can't see why he wouldn't want to do more. Zach's not the one to do two more Justice League movies. Something was supposed to happen where Batman is supposed to be protecting Lois, who's pregnant, and Batman uh, hesitates or something, and Lois gets killed. And what they were gonna have to do, which I guess it would have came down to the Flash, they were gonna have to reverse time. Batman was gonna give his life, uh, sacrifice himself to save Lois. Lois and Superman go on to uh, have that child, and 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 that child, although he wouldn't have had any superpowers, they were going to encourage him to take up the Batman mantle. Yeah, dude, it, 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 and, and it's a bunch of other stuff that goes along with that. That's why I say Zack Snyder's vision is, yeah, it, it was very ambitious. And, 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 and I mean, just seeing the way he did Justice League, I'm like, man, I, I want to see more. Did he actually do that due to that write-in campaign? At some point, he said he had, he has his version. He said it wasn't finished, but, but he had, he had his version. And, and as I say his version, I can, I can change that to his vision of it as well, you know? No, that wasn't just what was on the editing room floor. He actually went back in and reshot some stuff. Yes, he did. But I'm gonna take this, cause I've heard it online. They've been calling it the, the, the Justice, the Justice League cut, which was done by Joss Whedon. Cause they went back and did reshoots. So he went back and reshot some of the reshoots. I think, I think, I think he just wanted to give a whole new movie. So wait, wait, wait. Is Joss Whedon even credited on that first version? He's credited as the director of the movie that came out in 2017. They still might have gave Zack Snyder some credit because because jo Joss Whedon didn't shoot a whole new movie. He did reshoots and rewrites or whatever, but he still used some of Zack Snyder's stuff, you know what I'm saying? He, he went in and tweaked it. Wanting to take like a lighter approach than what Zack Snyder was doing and possibly be, take kind of, kind of, kind of take like the approach that Marvel has done with their comic book movies which Joss Whedon did the first two Avengers. They brought him in, I guess hoping to lighten the mood, if you will. That just didn't work. That movie was not good. What happened with Zack Snyder with that? Why did he leave? Zack Snyder's uh, daughter had committed suicide and um, he he stepped away. It was, you know, uh, as a parent, I think anyone could imagine that's just a lot to go through. I mean, I had heard that he was having issues with the studio as well about his vision for the movie when his uh daughter passed it was probably just a catalyst to be like epic but y'all y'all do what y'all wait in when bruce wayne goes and recruits the flash when he zoomed out the alley and jumped on like that expressway or whatever billboard it, the billboard yeah that was that was actually for like suicide prevention man and, all that yeah I, and he did oh! something yeah dog he did something in, else in there about suicide and, and like like letting you know like you're not alone dude so you know, I, I, man, dude, I, I, I like how he took his personal, his personal tragedy 
and 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 incorporated it into the movie. And dude, I I, I remember I, I watched the movie with uh, my son Elijah when it went off. When it said for Autumn, I told my son I was like. That was his daughter, that, and she committed suicide. I, I tip my hat to this dude, man. I tip my hat to this dude. Did any of the other actors actually have to go back and like reshoot some scenes? If so, have they put that information out there? Uh, everybody. Everybody, okay. Everybody, everybody reshot scenes. Was Martian Manhunter the whole time Harry J. Lennox? I took that as meaning like, Martian Manhunter been here the whole time, and he That's, just was watching. What do you think about uh, how they kind of expanded everybody's uh, story? I like that he did the character development. Zack Snyder always intended for Cyborg to play a crucial part in, in this movie, which which he did. Granted, okay, Superman is the man of steel and, 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 and just this powerful dude, but Superman couldn't stop the mother boxes from merging. You needed Cyborg to do that, you know what I'm saying? Cyborg played a very, very crucial role. And in the 2017 version, we, we they, 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 there was no real character development for Cyborg. And, and and it was almost like, just want him to say booyah. That's cartoon Cyborg. This ain't this ain't the cartoons. This this not Teen Titans, you know. Oh, so Cyborg. That's his. He has a catchphrase on the on the cartoon. Yeah, like, boo booyah. I like the way he redid Steppenwolf, but he did character development for Steppenwolf. He did. We didn't know why Steppenwolf was doing what he was doing back right. in 2017. In this movie, he's trying to get back in Dark Side's graces. You know, we found out the method to the madness. Right. In 2017, it was just madness, and, and we was wondering why. <laughs> right, right. Oh, and, and while this is fresh on my brain, bro, what's the significance of Superman within the black uniform? In the comic books, it was said that the black suit was like a regeneration suit. So when he was brought back to life, he wasn't at full power, but the black suit would absorb more of the sun and transfer it into him and, and bring him back up to full power, if you will. I just thought it looked cool, though, which... Hence, when I when I saw this shirt for sale, even before even before Justice League movie, I'm like, I like the black Superman shirt. I like. Now you know something else I noticed too about Zack Snyder. What that dude thinks about Batman's vehicles is nothing. None of his vehicles last through none of the movies. That one bat machine he had when it was inside the that silo or whatever. Oh, the Nightcrawler. At one point at the end, they also showed uh, Batman with this tank which I like that because I have this Batman graphic novel where in that graphic novel, he had that, that tank, man. It looked, it looked like a oh. Cobra Hiss. It looked like the Cobra Hiss. Oh, oh exactly, exactly. I, I never thought that, but yeah, yes. Damn, dude, you bringing up G.I. Joe. <laughs> Maybe you can explain this to me. I was initially upset, even though my eyes did adjust. But when, when that movie came on, oh, Reggie, and it said Reggie. full free instead of widescreen 16 by 9, bro, bro. tell me I ain't the only one that was bro. upset. Bro, I literally screamed out, what the hell? <laughs> but once the movie got to cracking, yeah, them two, them two black strips on the side, they disappeared. <laughs> Bro, I have to thank you for your words today. I appreciate you. Uh, oh man, dude, let's, uh, let's do this again real soon. We can do this again. I want to do this again. Yeah. <laughs> Before we go, man, I just like to say, uh, you know, man, I, I I just had this thought, man, like real friends just pick up where they left off, man. You know, we might have to fill in some blanks about what's happened over the last time. And, and that's kind of what we did. We kind of did some filling in, yeah. filling in some blanks for each other. Once we came came back to the future, we we just yeah, da, 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 what we do, you know. I'm more than happy to come come share some perspective with Joe Blackula. Ooh, that's gonna be a tight. I'm gonna use, <laughs> I'm gonna use that. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, right, right. This, this, this ain't like the shaking the black fist. This this the pound. <laughs> right, 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 right. Right, that's gonna be dope. We gonna have to end it with those, man.